Focus on your breath. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the breathing in the body. And if the long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, try to breathe in another way that gives rise to a feeling of pleasure, a sense of ease. You're not having to force the breath into the body. Think of the body as being all energy. You're not having to push air into something solid. You're allowing energy to flow into energy. And try to keep your mind with the breath. Remember to stay here. That's what mindfulness is all about, remembering. And then keep watch over all this. The breath, the feeling of pleasure, your mind staying with the breath or not staying with the breath. If it's not staying with the breath, you bring it back. It comes back easily, that's fine. If it doesn't come back easily, you have to figure out why. You've got four things going on here. You've got the breath. You've got the feeling of pleasure. You've got the mind focused on the breath. And then you've got this quality of looking at all of this. Those four things correspond to the four frames of reference in establishing mindfulness. If things are going well, you don't have to think about all four. Actually, you're trying to bring everything to be one. It's when things are not going well. In other words, the mind is not staying with the breath or there's no feeling of pleasure. That's when it's good to analyze things. This is why in the Factors for Awakening, the qualities that help turn mindfulness into concentration. Right after mindfulness comes analysis of qualities. In other words, you're trying to figure out what's going well and what's not going well. And if things are not going well, you try to make changes. If they are going well, you try to maintain them. Those are the first three factors for awakening. Mindfulness, analysis of qualities, and persistence. And they correspond to three factors of the path. Right view, right effort, right mindfulness. These are the qualities that the Buddha said circle around every factor of the path. So right now they're circling around you, circling around your breath, around your body, around the feelings of pleasure that you can get from the breath, and circling around the mind. The important thing is to try to make all of this feel like one. And it's easiest when the breath feels good. So ask yourself, what image can you hold in mind to make the breath feel good? This is that one of them is that think of the body as being energy, and the breath is energy. So it flows in easily, flows out easily. And it's good to think about the whole body breathing. There's some spots in the body where the breathing is more obvious, others where it's not so obvious. To get the most benefit, though, out of the whole body breathing, it's good to go through the body section by section and notice when you breathe in, how does that part of the body feel? When you breathe out, how does it feel? Try to make a survey section by section of the whole body. You can start down around the navel, work up through the front of the body, through the neck and the head, then down the back, down the shoulders and the arms, down the back, down the legs, out to the tips of the toes. As you focus on each section of the body, ask yourself, what kind of breathing feels good here? And if there's any tension or tightness in that part of the body, allow it to relax. Any sense of blockage, think of it dissolving away. If you want, instead of thinking of the breath coming in and out from outside, think of the breath as being the energy there in the body that's allowing the air to come in and out. And wherever you focus, 
the in-breath starts there. Then notice as the sense of energy flows through the body, where is it blocked? Keep this up until you're ready to settle down. Then choose any spot in the body that feels easy, easy to focus on, where the mind seems to naturally want to center. Focus there, and then from that spot, spread your awareness out to fill the whole body. So you're aware of the whole body breathing in, the whole body breathing out, with a sense of ease and well-being. And then try to maintain that. As I said, you've got all four frames of reference going here. And the question is, which one are you going to focus on? The primary one should be the breath. But you also have to notice, is that feeling of pleasure maintained, or is it beginning to fade away? As long as you have a need for a feeling of pleasure, try to maintain the pleasure. When it starts getting tedious, then you can let it go. In other words, the mind begins to get more peaceful. And the breath gets more peaceful, because they all come together. Now you're hovering around these things with those qualities I said of mindfulness, analysis of qualities, and persistence to make sure that everything stays right. The mind will have to get into concentration. It's there with one object. It's not the case that you don't hear anything outside. You, you, well, there's not potentially aware of the world around you, but you simply don't pay attention. You're trying to develop something good right here. Right concentration, which the Buddha said, is the heart of the path. The other factors, he said, are the, the requisites, things that help nurture, nurture right concentration. But the right concentration is the central factor. I guess you can read about the Dharma and have all kinds of ideas about the Dharma. But the mind hasn't gotten into good concentration. You don't see clearly what the Buddha is talking about. After all, the awakening he gained was right here. He's focused on the breath. The mind was solidly centered. It was from this perspective that he saw the world and began to formulate the Dharma. So to understand what he's talking about, you've got to get the mind here. Another reason why you want to get the mind here is because there's going to be a lot that you're going to see coming up in your mind that you don't like. And you'll be le learning some lessons of the Dharma where the Buddha says, let go of something that you do like. And the mind has to have a sense of well-being, stability, so it doesn't feel threatened by the things it doesn't like. And it's not so attached to things that it does like, that it sees are not quite as skillful as you may have thought. And it's easier to accept the things that are unpleasant about your own mind if you have a sense of well-being. It's like talking to someone about their faults. If they're hungry and irritable, they're not going to want to listen. If they're well-fed, in a good mood, they're much more likely to listen. So you're trying to feed the mind well, get it in a good mood. And that's for letting go. The reason we hold on to unskillful things is because we do get a sense of pleasure out of them, of some sort. And you can give the mind an alternative type of pleasure, like the pleasure that comes from concentration. It's easier to let go of those things. You're not so hungry. You don't feel so desperate. So 
to bring all your attention right here. Get the mind centered right here. Bring everything to one. You read the steps of breath meditation. There's 16 altogether, and it sounds like an awful lot. So much that some people even say, we're not supposed to be focusing on the breath, we're just being aware of the breath in the background as we do other things. But that's not the case. You look at the various steps, and they all have to do with either the body and the breath, the feelings that arise, the state of your mind, and the quality of mind that's watching. There are all these parts, but they all come together right here. So in that case, you're trying to take 16 and make them one. If you really want to analyze things out. But for the time being, let's bring everything together. Gather the mind here. Give it a place where it can dwell. Around one thing, the breath. And the more consistently you can stay here, the clearer all those other aspects will become. And you begin to see them in good time. There's no hurry to analyze things. As I said, the only time you need to analyze things is when things don't come together. When they do, you can put the analysis down. Confident that everything you're going to need to know is going to appear right here. Simply give it time.